If you schedule Zoom meetings on behalf of others and you do not actually need to be in those Zoom meetings, this video will show you how to set up the Zoom and make sure it's on their calendar. First thing you want to make sure is that you have access to that person's Google Workspace calendar and you can check that by looking here under my calendars, it should be listed. So I'm going to look at my sister's because she works in my office and I have access to her calendar here. If, she, if I don't see the person's calendar here, that person will first need to give you access to their calendar and how that person does that is they click on settings, click on settings, they scroll down to settings for their calendar. So if I was giving access to my calendar to someone else, I would say there. And there's a few different ways you can do it, but probably the easiest way I would say share with specific people and add that person's name here. If I was giving, you know, my calendar access to perhaps my administrative assistant. So, but if the person's already listed here, that's step one. The other thing you want to make sure is do you have Zoom on your calendar? Let's check. Over here on the side, open the three dots to see your add-ons. You might actually see it depending on how zoomed in your screen is. You want to make sure you have Zoom for G Suite, which I do have. If you don't have that, you would go to Get Add-ons and then look for Zoom for G Suite, which I have a separate video on. That sets everything up in your Google Workspace calendar. We also have to make sure you have the right permissions in Zoom. So let's get into Zoom. Remember that our direct link to Zoom here at Niagara University is niagara-edu.zoom.us. You can sign in with your Purple Pass credentials. Remember, joining and hosting is really more for students. Anyone who's faculty or staff, more often than not, is going to need to sign in. And again, you want to make sure you have permission to schedule Zooms on that person's behalf. So I'm going to go down to Settings. Scroll to the absolute bottom of the Settings page under the Meetings tab. And see who you can schedule for. I can schedule on behalf of Katie Rossi, which is my sister's name, which is what I need. And if I wanted someone to be able to schedule on my behalf, I would have to add them there. So since I can schedule on Katie's behalf and I have access to Katie's calendar, how I would do that is I would click on Meetings, or if I'm in the home screen, I would just go to Schedule a Meeting. I'll have the option to schedule it for myself, or I can change it to Katherine Rossi. Give the meeting a title. Choose your meeting settings. And if you needed to maybe put yourself on the meeting, um, you can schedule yourself as an alternative host. Alternative hosts can schedule a Zoom in the case that the original host couldn't make it. Uh, but alternative hosts must be Niagara University employees or students. Uh, you cannot assign alternative hosting privileges to someone outside of the university. You do not have to have one, but if you wanted someone else to be able to start the Zoom, in the event that the original host couldn't make it, you would put their email address in there. Go ahead and say save. So I'm scheduling this in Katie's Zoom um, account. You can see that the host is Katherine Rossi. And then I also want to put it on Katie's calendar because I really have nothing to do with this meeting. She's doing all of this herself. So I'm going to go ahead and click Google Calendar. It's going to generate a calendar event for me with all of the Zoom details on there. It's going to copy over the date, the time, all those settings I put in. The thing I want to make sure I do here is I don't want it to be on my calendar. I want to change this to Catherine Rossi's calendar. So I'll go ahead and say Save. And so I know it's a little tough to tell, but if I navigate to the day where I scheduled it, the colors are a bit the same. Um, so I'll actually change this color to something different. But this is that new calendar event I just created. So when the time comes, I don't need to be involved at all. Katie has it on her calendar. She can click on the event and start it there. She also has it scheduled in her Zoom portal, so she can start it that way. It's really her preference, uh, but my job here is done.